Hey ladies, welcome back to my channel. So today I am bringing you a look that was requested by a few of my subbies. This is a look that I wore in my um, little haul that I did talking about the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation as well as the Bobbi Brown Foundation Stick and I had a few ladies that asked me to recreate that look. So it took me a minute because I had to really look at it again to see exactly what I had on my eyes. So that's what this is. So let's get started. So I'm priming my eyes with a um, Stay Matte Primer and I am going into the Chocolate Bar Palette. And the first color that I'm going to go into is Salted Caramel. And that is going to be my first transition color. I am picking that up on a... A Sigma E40 tapered blending brush and I'm just gonna get that on the brow bone then the second color I'm going into is milk chocolate I'm gonna use the same brush and I'm using the infamous crispy method it really really does work y'all for real for real like try it and I promise you it will work so my um, brow bone highlight is rice paper of course I love rice paper and I'm going to blend that out with the same brush that I use for my transition colors just so that you don't see any lines from the rice paper and get that all blended out. So now I'm going to go into Cherry Cordial. This is probably one of my favorite colors out of the palette. I'm going to take that on a little fluffier brush. I don't remember the name of this brush. I want to say this is a Sigma E35. Um, it's a smaller version of the E40 and that's going into my crease and right on the outer corner. So then I'm going to go back into Salted Caramel and just kind of blend that out so it doesn't look so harsh and you don't see the harsh lines. Um, and now I think I'm going into my lid color. Yeah, I'm going into my lid color and, this, and that's uh, Champagne Truffle. I gotta say that this is probably like my go-to eye lately. Like I've been loving this this color combination. It just kind of works with everything for me, um, and I just love the way this champagne truffle color just pops off with the uh, cherry cordial. I just think it's gorgeous. So I'm just gonna blend that out. I'm gonna go back into cherry cordial, and I'm going to add that. On the outer third of my eye just to kind of give that a little bit of color and smoke it out um, and bring that a little bit more into my crease and out of V just to add a little bit more color I really want to color on the outer portion of my eye and if I remember correctly this is exactly um, the look that I had in that video um, so I'm just blending it back into my crease just blending the colors out making sure everything is all even uh, now I'm going to go back into Salted Caramel and I'm going to take that on the E40 Taper Blending Brush and I'm going to blend out Cherry Cordial just so that, you know, it doesn't look harsh. You don't see where one ends and one begins because that wouldn't be sexy, right, y'all? We got to blend, 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 honey, blend. That's what this game is about. It's about blending. Um, so that's all I'm doing. I'm just blending Cherry Cordial out. Um, so that you don't see any harsh lines. So I'm just reapplying Salted Caramel. Still blending. Yeah, still blending. And now it's time for the face. I'm going to come back and voila, the face is on. Did my face off camera. So now I'm going to go back into the palette and I'm going to pick up Semi Sweet. And I'm going to start to smoke out my bottom lash line. So the first color I'm going into is Semi Sweet. And I'm picking that up on a, um, on a pencil brush by Sigma. Yeah, that's a Sigma pencil brush. And I'm going to start out with that color. Just smoking the bottom lash line out. Smoke it out. Then I'm going to go into Cherry Cordial on a, um, on a flat brush. This is a really, really tiny detailed brush. And I'm going to place that closer to my waterline just to get a little more definition and make the waterline um, look a little darker um, so that I didn't have to use liner. Um, I didn't want to use eyeliner in this look. 
Um, so that's why I use the cherry cordial. I'm going to go back into champagne truffle and I'm going to pop that in my in a tear duct just to give me a little highlight. I didn't want to use rice paper. I wanted to use the same color. I was trying to stay true to that um, to that video um, that I posted that you guys asked for the tutorial on. So now I'm just I'm just kind of, you know, just smoking out the bottom lash line. And now it's time for the lips. So I'm prepping my lips with a, um, just like a lip balm, and I'm going in with Vino first, of course, right? Because I can't live without my Vino. Probably wasn't the best color choice for the lippy I'm going to put on, um, but, you know, didn't matter because I kind of sort of went over it anyway. So I had my choice between the Kat Von D lippy and the Anastasia Beverly Hills Lippy. I went with the Kat Von D, of course. Now, I love the Anastasia, and they're almost the same. The um, Anastasia is just a little darker, believe it or not, because they look the same in the tube, than the Kat Von D. So I'm just placing the Kat Von D on my lips, and I'm going to take the Dupe for Night Moth. This is a um, mm, Jordana um, lip line, I believe. And I'm just going to place that on just to give me some definition. And that is the look, ladies. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I know that a few of you ladies really wanted to see it. So I hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, take care of yourselves. And God bless. Bye.